Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hello, everyone. I am I am moved in the spirit, and um, I have to obey. I mean, it's just <laughs> it doesn't sit right without me obeying, and um, you know, the Lord is just speaking to me because He's hurting. You know, because He's tired of seeing innocent lives taken. He's tired of seeing hatred and 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 just ignorance and um so i have to 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 come on here and just um god help somebody you know help us god help us you know if we can just see if we can just see you know where does racism come from you know and and he 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 showed me you know if you think about if you think about the fact of being in your own country, okay? Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Being in your own country and being uprooted, being sold, coming to a new place, okay? Coming to a new place where you don't look like everyone else, okay? And not only that, okay, but you are being enslaved, okay, to work for free, to be beaten, to be raped, to be separated from your family, okay? Fathers were separated from their family. It was just normal, okay? Mothers were raped. There are many mixed babies in those days, okay? And I'm going somewhere with this, okay? Because, because it hurts God that, 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 that racism even exists, okay? That it even that we look at somebody and we think something about them because of the way they look, okay? But I, I want to really, where does racism come from? Okay, so you have, you know, okay, white and you have black, okay? You have um, white people enslaved black people and they thought they were better at this time. Now, I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about a long time ago, okay? But there are repercussions from this, okay? There are things that will pass on from generation to generation on both sides, okay? So, you know, white people looked down on their slaves. They thought they were better than them. They even considered them to be, Holy Spirit help me, uh, just less than them. Okay, and then on the other hand, you know, these these Africans, they were brought here, they were stripped of their, their everything. I mean, they were stripped of their name, you know, everything, okay? And so, what do you have? You have a boiling pot for hate, for pride, for, I mean, all of these things. But where does it really stem from? Okay, where does, who is the author of all this negativity, okay? And I do not want to minimize what has happened because of racism, okay? But the fact is that we have a tool. We have, we have a tool. We have ways. We can overcome this the way that God would have us to overcome it, okay? He took me to Ephesians 6, 12, okay? And I'm going somewhere with this, and I'm not going to be long. I'm not, because um, because it's to the point what he, he has to say here. And uh, this is not me. This is him because he is hurting. Because, yet again, another black man dies um, basically for no reason, you know? And... Um, you know, even if he had done something wrong. I mean, let's just say, you know, he had done something wrong. Um, does that, should he just be killed? I mean, would we just go around killing people? Or isn't there a court of law? I mean, yeah. So, Ephesians six twelve, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Lord, help me. <laughs> against powers 
against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. We're not fighting people. We're not fighting people. We're not fighting people. We're fighting evil. We are not fighting one another. We're fighting Satan and he, yes, Lord, he, John 10, 10 is the other Bible verse that the Lord gave me. And forgive me for being emotional about this, but it's heartbreaking. It is. It's heartbreaking. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. This is a scheme, okay, of division from our enemy. He comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. So, what can we do? How about we start by having compassion for one another instead of assuming that we know somebody by the way they look. How about going deeper? How about looking inside someone? How about having compassion to think about the fact of, okay, if you were, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. If you were taken from your family, okay, as a man, and you weren't able or allowed to be a father, what do you think would happen generationally? Okay, what do you think would happen as time went on? Okay, do we think that it would just go away? In other words, now you have freedom, but you're not used to raising your kids. You're not used to being around your family. On the other end of it, you're not used to having your children's father in the picture. Okay, there's so many repercussions. We have to have compassion. And, you know, on the other side of it, you know... A lot of times, white people just were raised to be uh, condescending, and they were raised to look at black people differently. You see, I have mixed children, and I don't claim to know it all because I certainly do not, okay? But I do know that there are two sides to this, that there are really two sides to this, and that it is generational, okay? It is truly generational, and the Lord is is hurting over this because we're all his children you know see that's the thing of it we're all his children it doesn't matter to him what we look like he looks to us on the inside he sees our hearts okay and unfortunately in today's world no matter what color we may be on the outside there's a lot of ugly hearts okay we have got to care and have compassion for one another okay secondly we've got to forgive okay we've got to forgive do we understand that the enemy loves it when we're operating in bitterness he loves it when we're angry he loves it when something consumes us and if we don't walk in forgiveness we won't be forgiven you know and it's just strategic how he works and if only if only one person can catch this revelation then this is why I did it I did not want to come on here and and do this video but I have to be obedient and and we we've got to have compassion you know we we've got to walk in forgiveness you know Jesus went through so many things he did not deserve he certainly did not deserve to be beaten and maimed and killed, okay? He didn't even do anything wrong ever, ever. He was without sin. Nobody in this world can say that. Nobody. And so he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. And oftentimes ignorance doesn't even operate with a heart, okay? You know, um pride it doesn't even operate with a heart but but it operates with the devil okay and here the devil has a chance to steal kill and destroy because we don't walk in forgiveness because we have anger because we have hate because we think we're better than somebody 
you know so many things the enemy is just running rampant why because he knows divide and conquer divide and conquer if I can get this group of people to hate this group of people and this group of people to hate this well he's won and here we are we see it day after day you know I have been a, a, a victim of racism as well it, it it's just in the world and it it's so beyond my comprehension why you look at somebody and you 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 judge them you know um to some I just I don't understand it I don't but I know the basis of it is evil it's not a, a certain group of people it's the devil and he will influence whoever he can however he can and he will get in and if we're not compassionate okay if we're not walking in forgiveness guess what there he is right there and he destroys lives not only does he take innocent lives but he destroys lives of those walking around right now people hating people because of the way they look and it's two-sided because if somebody enslaved me and I had to work for free and I was beat and killed and made, I wouldn't feel too happy about that and there's only one cure for that pain it is not deserved, that's not what I'm saying, but there's only one cure. God can heal you. God will heal us. Just like the bitterness and the pridefulness and, and people who think they're better than people. He, only God is the cure. Only Jesus is the answer for all of this. You know, we've got, if we look back, all the riots, all the, all the things we've tried to do for equality, you know, because we are all equal in God's eyes. We're all the same to Him. But none of it worked. You know, we need a new movement. We need a movement that begins with ourselves. A movement that says, Lord, examine my heart. Create a clean heart in me and a right spirit. Help me, Lord, to love like you do. Help me, Lord, to forgive like you do. Because without Jesus... It's never going to get better. Hate breeds hate and, and bitterness and, and resentment and, and pride and just, you know, control, you know, and fear and all these things for all these people. We're all one. I don't care what we look like. Don't let the enemy steal from you. You know, the Bible says if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven and so in every which way just like these people who these are are mean and and kill people they unless they repent they won't be forgiven you know and so we have a whole bunch of people headed to hell why because that's what satan wants it's what he wants it's his goal he hates jesus and he hates us and if he could take everybody well so be it and he has all these agendas agenda 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 i could list them all they're all over the tv all over the world and racism is right at the top of his list only the holy spirit can change somebody you know um we can give all the speeches we want and you know we can keep losing lives and we can talk and talk about it but only the Holy Spirit will help somebody to change. It is only when somebody sees their heart for what it really is that they might want to be different. It is only through compassion and love. You know, Martin Luther King Jr. has always been one of a man I look up to, always, since I was a little girl. And, you know, he said a couple things. And I'm going to... I'm going to quote him because he was a man who chased after Jesus and he said that darkness cannot drive out darkness only light can do that you know another thing he said is that he had a dream that a man would be judged by the content of their character and not the color of their skin and how far are we from those days? I mean, it's been 50, 60 years, but has has a lot changed? I mean, we need Jesus. We need to realize that we're all one people. We're all God's children. And He's made us all different. 
But he loves us all the same. And if this would help one person, then it was worth doing it. I want to pray, Lord Jesus, touch the hearts of every person that hears and sees this video, Lord Jesus. Let them to examine their own hearts, Lord. Let them to not look around at everybody else, but to look within themselves and to see where the enemy has stolen from them, where the enemy has made them like him. Lord, help us all. Help us overcome this spirit of racism because we love each other in your kingdom because we don't care what we look like in your kingdom and i thank you jesus amen i hope that somebody can see where where god is coming from with this i i hope that somebody can see we can't fight in the flesh we got to fight in the spirit. We got to let God be God. We have got to be the best version of us. We've got to see who we're really fighting. And Jesus already defeated him. It is the name of Jesus. It is the power of Jesus. It is the Holy Spirit of Jesus that will help this world. And nothing else will. I love you all. I love you all.